You know, it almost felt like I met him. Like we were two traded hostages locking eyes as we passed each other on a cold bridge before the burn. I could see the way my mom looked at me when I turned 17. I could taste the layers of her grief in my birthday cake and equal parts pride and mourning with a cherry on top. She told me that somebody woke her up with the words, your brother is dead, like she had slept through an alarm. I know I'll likely never understand the agony. I know her body must have atrophied as my grandmother hugged her with arms wrapped around mom the same way the car wrapped around the pole, handfuls of ash dug up from the hole in her chest that is still hot to the touch today. She told me she tried her best to stop counting down the days, but the day that I outlived, her little brother was palpable. Like I could grasp at my own soul, feel its value, like my own ability to breathe was almost selfish. I dug my teeth into my tongue to silence the anguish pumping through my arteries, made my mouth taste of metal like car batteries, how appropriate. There have been too many instances where I would have happily taken his place, but I never thought about the way I may have already taken his place. I've had so many people talk about how much I remind them of their sweet boy. I swear I see his name etched in blood across my face in every photograph taken of me since 97. Dear Jack, please forgive me. I never wanted this to happen. I never wanted to be the boy who survived. I've become so much of you revived in the hearts of our family. I just want to do your memory justice. Every time I make one of them smile, they tell me that I am so much like you, like my entire existence an homage to the named gravestone your parents couldn't afford. I'm sorry that you had so much taken from you so soon, and I'm sorry that I could never truly become the man you would have. I'm sorry that I'll only ever be a broken bone cast within the shadow of the anguish that punctuated my mom's pleas to take care of my sister. Please. And most of all, I am so sorry that I never met you, and I will only ever get to be you.